YSK backup cameras on U.S. autos is standard equipment, like seatbelts. If you're shopping for a new car and the ads or salesman is excitedly telling you about the included backup camera, they should also be just as excited about the car's seatbelts or airbags. YYSK it's mandatory basic equipment on all vehicles from 2018 onward. I've noticed ads exclaiming the backup camera as a significant selling point. Like it's some kind of extra perk of novelty it isn't. Just remember that part of selling cars is to mention some of the features so if during your first chat you tell the salesperson safety is my main concern or a concern they might mention the cameras when demoing the car. What you shouldn't see is an upcharge for it being there like you would for heated steering wheels. This car slaps hood has four tires. Traction control is also mandatory. Next mandatory safety system will front collision avoidance. The resolution or night vision on the backup camera can be a perk. I have a newer car that has one but it's so poor I don't usually use it. While my friend has one that is much clearer. Especially when dark out. Yup just like splinter-free toilet paper being a selling point long after there was no need to. Advertise. Must have happened partway through the year because I've got a 2018 Hyundai Elantra that does not. Have a backup camera. 2019 onward actually. Yay. As an ex-car salesman I can confirm that a big part of selling is inflating the value of insignificant aspects of the vehicle that are already a given. It's pretty pathetic. They are still pretty new. I'm willing to bet they were just as excited about the other features when they came out. I found this out when doing research getting my latest car. Apparently it became mandatory because of the efforts of a doctor who accidentally backed over his son and killed him. He took his tragedy and tried to make sure nobody else would have to go through that. I'm a woman, they like to point out the cup holders and mirrors. Waipu should know that cars come standard with wheels. Wheels are used to utilize rolling friction. Another thing I also learned that brand new cars come with a factory rust proofing but they still try and sell you on the rust protection extended warranty. Ooh you can totally have fun with this. If you clapped back with something snarky and sarcastic about the airbags or seatbelts. Really emphasize standard equipment. It could make him think you know the car process in turn. He might just give you the best deals of the bat. I thought it was any device that helps when backing up that was mandatory. Not necessarily a camera, but a beep sensor thingy is compliant. I'm too lazy to look it up. You should know oranges are orange. This is not a selling point. Don't believe the hype. I bought a 2022 Ford F250 XL last year and I was surprised that it had a backup camera. Thanks Obama. Use this to your advantage. Face with monocle I don't like cars with backup cameras. Color TV. Here's another YSK. Electronic retracting mirrors were options since the 90s and cruise control exists since the early 80s. It's a scam that they are still seen as options. Damn I actually learned something today lol. If you have an old car. I'd highly recommend getting a new rear view mirror with a backup camera. You can look through the mirror and the camera at the same time. And it should be less than $40 and 20 minutes to install. I don't know why new cars don't put the camera in the mirror. After 2019, backup cameras are a standard feature included for free, FYI if anyone says otherwise. I'm in the market for a new hybrid car and I really appreciate this cheers. Emo if you need a backup camera parking sensors. Maybe you shouldn't be driving parking whatsoever. I deactivated it.
It's a distraction for me and not at all helpful for me to have a moving screen image when I'm trying to maneuver the car. Same for TPMS. Yes. Very good point. Also note that many cars older than 2018 do not have a backup camera. The amount of people that boldly walk behind my camera less SUV as I'm backing up is absurd. Is there some way that you can wire into it with a dash cam? Is that more trouble than it's worth? They may be standard as of five years ago, but that means the average person buying a car might not be used to the new standard or even aware of it yet. Assuming most folks keep cars five years or more, it makes sense as a talking selling point, especially if they're in the habit because their dealership also sells older used cars. Airbags aren't mandatory. Remember the Kia Soul commercials with the hamsters? All I could tell you about that vehicle is that it apparently has a really awesome stereo. Laughs in 1989 Volkswagen. It is a perk and novelty even if it's mandatory by law. You sound but hurt more about the entire dealership sales mechanic and system of selling and buying cars and rightfully so the entire process is terrible that said. The salesperson's job is to make you excited about the car. They will say anything even lies or untrue or incorrect if it makes you think that purchase is a good idea. Reminds of the salesman that sold me my car. It was an 05 Civic so I knew a fair amount about this type of car from working on them. Anyways the dude was like yo check out these tailpipes pretty awesome right? They wear stock pipes. Everything was stock. You can tell it was previously owned by an older person at least 35-ish or older based on a few things left in the owner's manual. That fact aside almost every big name dealer will pull aftermarket parts off the vehicle and replace it with own parts prior to resale. People need to add their sources. If it's obvious, why are you making a post about it? If not, why do you expect us to take your word for it? I doubt anybody here thinks of you as an important person as much as you do in your mind. Stop being lazy. There was another one about putting a spoon in underwear. And so far, the mods are doing jack.